Hi friends, in this tutorial I will be telling you how to convert the shapefile data to excel file. For this I am using two methods in this tutorial. I will be showing you by using arc toolbox and also by exporting the attribute table as the database file and changing the extension of the file name into .xls. So let's begin. So here I am having shapefile of dams spread out in a particular boundary. So you can see the red spots they indicate the dam that is dams that are spread out in this particular boundary okay I am going to open the attribute table of the dams so now you can see a table with the dam uh, name of the dams as well as the various characteristics of the dams now I am going to export this attribute table into the excel format so let's see how we do that so first method I am using is by using the arc toolbox uh, so let's begin now I am going to the conversion tools in arc toolbox and I am selecting excel in that I will select table to excel because we have to convert to excel format. So I am going to select the input table as my dams file, shape file. You can give a name for your output file in a particular folder. I am giving it as dams and you can save it in file format. Okay. So we are almost done. Now we have to go to the folder where we saved our output file. Yeah, so as you can see it is already saved in Excel format. Now you can double click and open it. And our file is already exported to Excel format. So I'm just uh, adjusting the column bit here and there so that the data are clearly visible. Yeah. So we are done. Now we'll go into the next procedure that is by exporting the attribute table as a database file and changing the extension of the file name to .xls format. For that also I'm opening the attribute table of the dams first. Now I'm going to click the left mouse button there yeah in that you can find an export icon I'm going to double click on that so here in export they are showing all records if I want to export all records I can simply select all records and export them okay so if I but if I want only selected records to be exported I can just uh, go ahead and select the records which are important to me and then uh, export it. So you can see selected records will also pop up to get uh, to select but now I want all records so I am selecting all records. Then you can save your output file in .dbf format. So now I am going to name my output as like damn t output .dbf. Okay. Now you can uh, navigate to the folder where you have saved your file. Yeah, so you can see damn t output I have saved it as so two dbf files you can see. So now in order to select the correct dbf file what you have to do is you have to check the type of the file. See you can see the first one type is dbf. So you, we will select the dbf file type one. Okay now we will uh, we make sure that it is a dbf file first and then we will right click on that then we will rename it and give the extension as .xls. And uh, you can uh, press and enter so you can see the magic immediately so it just got transformed to an excel file automatically when we did that now you can double click on that yeah so the excel opens yeah so you we can see our table exported into excel format see how it's done so easily i'm just again adjusting the column width here and there so that it's more legible yeah we are done so thank you so much for watching my video. Bye bye.